And with that, we say hello and welcome from Indy alongside Brady Quinn, Josina Anderson, Jamie Eisenberg. I'm Joe Musso. Active day. And Jamie, I want to go to you right off the bat here. You sort of took these running backs all in, sat across this very desk from them. Who really caught your attention through those conversations? Well, I appreciate you coming to me first with the heavy hitters hey, here you got on, on, on the desk. But, um, you know, I'll go back uh, to something that always stands out to me whenever I meet running backs. And, and I'm sure you guys can uh, uh, attest to this as well because you've met your fair share. Uh, 2007, the Rookie Symposium. Adrian Peterson, first time I shook his hand, felt like you broke my hand, one of the hardest handshakes you'll ever see <laughs> in your life. Jonathan Taylor on this desk two years ago when he came through the combine, same thing. Brees Hall, same thing. Very strong handshake. That's the first thing when he walked up here, shook my hand. I was like, okay, there's a pretty good trend there mm-hmm. of uh, guys who break my hand, essentially. Um, but but he, uh, he stood out to me, very confident, you know, talking about his game and what he's going to bring to the NFL. Uh, and then I think you just look at... Um, a little confirmation bias because he's my favorite guy coming into this okay. as well. But I also think you look at Kieran, Kyron Williams. Excuse me, Brady. I know you're going to correct me. That Kyron Williams, um, very, very confident. Just the exuding confidence. And for a guy that is a little smaller in stature, for him to come up here and sort of command the presence of the table uh, was really something that stood out as well. But all these guys really you know, kind of set the tone for, I think, what's going to be a fun class. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a, a Najee Harris, a Jonathan Taylor, you know, one of those standout guys at least yet. But all these guys as a group, very impressive so far today. I love this group of running backs. I think there, there's many that you can point to, whether it's Brees Hall and his hard handshake. I think you need to drink more milk, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm but, little Brady. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but the way he carried Iowa State's offense, I mean, everything revolved around him. Or Kyron, or Kyron Williams, who you mentioned, I, I think he's the most complete back. Now, I'm biased because I'm a Notre Dame guy, but I've watched him throughout the course of his career. And I don't care if it's catching the football out of the backfield, his vision as a running back. And you say he's small. Go watch the tape of how physical he is as a runner, the way he finishes runs. And a blocker. And then and also, which he doesn't like talking about, but look at the next level, that's what they want to see. That's what keeps you on the field on third down is your ability to be able to see the blitzes and blitz pick up and not be a liability back there if you can't protect the quarterback. So I think he's the total package. Um, the only question for him is, what is he going to run the 40? Mm-hmm. And and based on that, I think that'll tell you just how high I think he will go. But he's one of those guys that you probably won't hear much talk about because teams are hoping that he slides in the draft. Uh, Jesse, really, I, I was going to say, it's very unlikely that we see first-round capital mm-hmm. spent on running backs in today's day age. Is there any indication that someone might fall in love with one of these guys and who's catching your eye? Well, the first thing I think is interesting is something that you just said, Brady, because you said that you really like this class and yet it'll be interesting to see, just like what you're saying, if Mm -hmm. any of them do fall into the first round. Now, there's a lot of variety. There's a lot of diversity of skill, you know, but at the same time I was just talking, and I think you heard me speaking to I was just talking to a very well-known running backs coach that's here and obviously he's tasked with just watching these guys and the first thing that he said to me is that he feels like he doesn't see anybody that's that special that jumps off the page in comparison to some of the guys that he's seen before. Mm-hmm. But this is where the combine, you know, can definitely help your stock. Yeah, now, for me, I'm not somebody that watches a ton of college football, but at the same time, I'm somebody who ran track and all these other things. And I feel like when I do see the drills, mm-hmm. when I see them go through things, I, I can spot things that usually gives me some sort of projection. Now, I am interested to see Kenneth Walker and whether, like today, he said he expects to run below a 4-5. I think that would do a tremendous help, you know, in terms of raising his stock. This is a guy that is a very balanced, uh, broke a lot of tackles, very physical, over 1,600 yards. So that's a guy that I'm keeping an eye on. He told us actually, by the way, it's Ken Walker, which was uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. He, goes, he goes by Ken, Ken Walker. Yeah, mo- most people Less extend formal. their name. Yes. <laughs> yeah, most people extend their name. Like, like Mitchell, Matthew, Mitchell, 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 Mitchell,
productive as well as Devin A. Chain or what have you, and you're looking at, okay, how do you separate your assessment of, okay, this guy didn't necessarily have back-breaking numbers in the last year, but mm-hmm. there's an explanation for it. Right, and, and it's funny you say that, because you know a lot of uh, Devon A. Chain and his production, and really Isaiah Spillers, it came from their quarterback situation mm-hmm. there this year, right? They had to run the football if they are going to be effective, play good defense, run the football. That was their, their best combination to win. Spillers the guy I like the best in this class. Mm-hmm. Like If I was to rank this, I would say this is the number one running back in my opinion because he's got that top side ability okay. he's got kind of everything else that you're looking for mm-hmm. and the way they had to highlight him this year because of again you know they're limited at the quarterback position he was the guy that stood out the most for me now how does that translate to the NFL yeah mm-hmm. we'll find out where he's taking <laughs> let's punctuate this running back conversation and let's power rank it a bit here how are you situating these guys maybe a top five Jamie yeah I look at it you know obviously from from a little bit of a fantasy perspective mm-hmm. obviously so Hall is my favorite guy Spillers too uh, I like Walker third uh, Williams I believe I have him at four and then you have Rashawn White um, at, at five from uh, Arizona group. State. Uh, the fun thing that we did with White, I asked him if he uh, knows the great Arizona State alum, Pete Prisco. Yeah. Unfortunately, he had no idea. <laughs> oh, he was. Can't but, have that. but Kyron Williams absolutely knew who Brady Quinn was. <laughs> but of- Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.